Hey guys, I'm just a freak and I'm back with another manga haul. I have like, I don't know, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten, eleven, fifteen packages to unbox today. So yeah, grab a glass of juice, a beer or something, relax and let's get this started. First, let's start with uh, the ones that are in uh, paper bags like this. Uh, and let's see what we have here. Oh, nice, nice, nice. So, I was browsing Book Depository one night before going to bed and uh, that's how I look for uh, new releases and I saw this uh, Yuri series so practically from what I remember this is a set of um, of short stories I don't know if all of them involve these uh, two characters over here but yeah it caught my attention and I'm reading um, Quite a lot of Yuri lately, I feel that I enjoy this kind of romance and yeah, I jumped a gun and I bought this, so hopefully it's good. Next, let's see, have to be careful not to tempt Batman to, to play with the packages, because uh, he actually managed to open some of my packages. So, uh, like I said in, in uh, my last haul, I started to pick up uh, Black Lagoon, a story about a smuggling company that uh, lives outside the law, in a city outside the law, a pretty, pretty action-packed series with a lot of violence, guns, fights, those kind of uh, scenes and I don't know, emotions that you sometimes get from Helsing if you saw the anime at least that's how the um, anime was uh, I see some resemblance in the manga and uh, yeah I'm slowly picking it up uh, I don't remember if this is still in hiatus at some point it was in hiatus let me know if you know anything about that because at this point I think I have ordered everything that's uh, out and yeah Batman managed to to help me with some of my manga and it looks like he got a little bit careless over here yeah I, I don't know what's up with him lately he's, he's acting out normally uh, <laughs> if I get home and I leave something uh, near him, he's he's quite uh, quite okay with it, and he doesn't touch what he. It's not his, but yeah, just a little bit of scratching there, nothing too serious. As you may well know, um, I'm uh, picking up you Hakusho, this fighting shonen series, an old one from uh, Tagashi, the same guy that did Hunter Hunter that does Hunter x Hunter because that's not finished, probably it's in hiatus. So yeah, got volume 6, I'm getting closer and closer. Another package, and this is... Mythical Beasts Investigator. So this is something that was recommended by Bizarre, and let me get just something. Because I also have volume 2 here that was unboxed by Batman alongside with uh, Gigant and I forgot to show these two in my last haul because they were on my shelf, I already read this one, not this one because it was volume 2. Anyway, if you want to know more about this one, uh, I have a first impression of it on the channel and I, link a, I leave a link in the description. But Let's get back to Mythical Beast Investigator. Look how nice this cover look. Quite, quite nice volumes. 
So yeah, this was um, this was recommended by Bizarre a while ago. It's a series that uh, he likes a lot, and it's only two volumes, so I gave it a shot. I don't know enough. Uh, oh, I know almost nothing about it except the fact that it's about uh, mystical a, a person who takes care uh, about the balance between mythical beasts and humans so if something gets wrong in uh, between uh, those two sides uh, uh, she tries to actually help with that and that's all that i know from this one uh, bizarre had a lot of good things to say about it and from what i saw in uh, volume 2 the art is pretty pretty nice and i can't wait to try it next let's see and another volume from you hakusho so this is volume 12 i don't know how many am i missing at this point it looks like it's a little bit damaged there but not too big of a deal uh yeah i'm almost done with this one i think i'm missing only like two or three volumes i don't remember but yeah i can't can't wait to have it all in my in my collection next Ooh. so it looks like this is the is it wrong to pick up girls in a dungeon uh familia chronicle uh, liu uh, this is a side story from the main series and from what i know this is the last volume so that means that i have it all now and it is completed let's take a look at some art so yeah the art is it's pretty nice pretty good it um kind of similar to to the rest of the series and yeah i'm happy that i have it i really like the main series i also like sword oratoria i haven't started this yet but i have high hopes for it and it's from the same universe so i want to read and experience more next let's see what we have here damn damn this is a big one so this is black lagoon volume 9 and oh my god this this is quite a big volume i have to be careful what i show from this because this series is full full of violence i know it's <laughs> criminals uh, abductions cartels everything that you could think of it's it's in black lagoon so if you take a look you can actually see that this volume is, I don't know, one and a half volumes or even thicker than uh, volume six. But happy to have it. Of course, I'm happy to have it. I really, really enjoyed the, the anime for it. And uh, from what I saw, from what I have until now, uh, the first few volumes get pretty far in the anime so with enough luck i'm gonna get in um, the volumes that are out for this series more content that than i actually saw in the anime and that's gonna be really really nice because i really want to just know and see what happened next one this is volume five still from black lagoon and from what it looks like i think that this one is actually at least from the cover it's near the end of the second season of the anime so man maybe i'm not even at half of the content from the series quite quite awesome quite an awesome discovery i wasn't paying attention that much to the covers while I ordered them to actually figure the, that out. Maybe I'm wrong, hopefully I'm not. Okay guys, so this is volume five from uh, Yu Hakusho. 
Will I have the luck to actually complete that in this hole? I don't know. We'll see. And <laughs> damn, this is the, the, the weirdest shrink wrap that I ever got for a manga. It looks like homemade, actually. Actually, if, if I made this uh, shrink wrap at home, I would probably do a better job. But let's get it open so that we can take a look inside of the volume. Quite a nice cover there. I really like the art in this one. Uh, this is volume 24. I think I'm missing just uh, 26 light and volume 25 or something like that. And I think that it's time to actually continue reading this series because I think that I almost have everything to get to the end and to be able to binge it. And here is the art. As you can see, it, it's pretty cool, at least in my opinion. It's quite nice and uh, the action is full, full of uh, explosion, of course, but too and uh, the battle royale series it's it's pretty brutal a lot of violence in it so if you're not up for that uh, don't pick it up but if you like that kind of stuff those action-packed uh, series that are quite fast fast-paced uh, pick this one up because it's one of those series where you start the volume and you find yourself at the end of it because it's just action 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 The only problem with it, uh, with Batum, is that it's quite pricey. And I don't know if that's because this is from Yan Press or what's up with it. I, I have other series from Yan Press that are not that crazy expensive, but yeah, it's, it's worth it. It's a good series. Oh my god, what do we have here? So this is something that was uh, recommended to me by a lot of people from Discord, from Twitter, a lot of people are reading this. Uh, I think that man and his merch has this one as one of his favorites. Uh, I heard only good things about it. It's about these two girls that uh, go out into the world. And I think it's after an, somehow an apocalypse or something like that, because the earth is quite empty, but it's that kind of a slice of life, laid back stories, relaxing, where you just go, read, enjoy some, a little bit of fun and the scenery and the whole atmosphere, it's supposed to be like that. And when I heard about it, uh, I just had to try it. And as you can see, the, the art is pretty, pretty nice and it's cute and I think I'm going to read this soon. I know that I ordered more, so I hope that I'll have more in this pile. Let's see. And we are in luck. We are in luck because we also have volume 2. So now I'm gonna be able to, to read these two as a pair. Pretty, pretty nice covers, if I can say so and quite colorful spines so yeah i have high hopes for this one please please don't disappoint next one next one is volume 8 from the angels of that and then it's been a year or something like that from when i picked up another volume from this one uh, I saw the anime from this series, I also read a little bit of the manga and it's, it's quite nice, it's nothing uh, out of the ordinary, nothing that will blow you away, but the story is quite interesting because the action takes place at least at the point where I am, until the point where I am, in uh, kind of a building, a facility that is on uh, multiple levels and each level has a serial killer assigned to it and each level has the design that suits that serial killer at best 
and the story starts with a little girl a really really weird one that uh, wakes up on one of those low levels and she practically has to survive and get out of there or I don't even know because she you you will see when you read it she's pretty weird she doesn't even know if she wants to survive or not she just goes on for all the wrong reasons and that's kind of it a building a huge building I don't know if it's underground if it's not but each level has a serial killer it's pretty freaky each one has its own design that it's freaky and uh, a lot of puzzle games the story sometimes feels like a game and the mangaka I remember reading something about it uh, the mangaka actually wanted to make or sh did a video game so that was a huge inspiration for this one uh, let me show you a little bit of the art so as you can see it looks quite quite nice we also get some color pages and this is again put out by and press i know uh, if you if you read it or if you saw the anime let me know what you think about it i find it quite interesting but as i said nothing that will blow my mind away next one I happen to have here volume 4 from uh, A Bright Story. Now, if you know me, you know that I like Kaoru Mori. She has one of the most detailed art. Her art is beautiful and what you see on the cover also applies to what you have inside. Because the amount of detail in clothes and everything like that is it's just incredible. And this is a story about a girl who was married to a younger guy but nothing weird goes on between them because with that age gap things are happening really really slow between them it's more like she decides to wait until uh, the guy that she was married with will grow older in order to have children and anything like that so it's nothing sexual about it it's just uh, a slice of life story about uh, some of the uh, oriental uh, i don't know how to say it uh, specific things that are happening there and customs and stuff like that it involves uh, tribes and food and clothes and it's as I said, it's a slice of life drama story, quite, quite nice, and I really like it. And at some point, I don't remember if I, it was this volume or volume 5 that became out of print. And I freaked out because I have almost er everything. But yeah, I managed to get it and now I can rest assured and read it further. And the last one from this hole feels quite quite heavy. Let's see. Ooh, a new hardcover from uh, Viz, I think, or well, no, Kodansha, I forgot. So this is Sayuki. It's the original series. This is from the 90s, if I remember correctly. It has the same uh, the same release from what it looks like, like uh, Vinland Saga. Even the pages are filling in the exact same way. Pretty nice release. I don't like when it opens, how it cracks. I don't know if you can hear it. But yeah, uh, this is an older series. It was it got now a print. I don't know if this is a reprint or not but they are, they are calling it the resurrected edition I'm happy about it because uh, this is something that felt quite interesting it's not that such it's not such a long story I think it's only six or nine volumes or something like that and this is an omnibus as you can see um, it's a shonen series 
it involves the monk and the yokais and the world gets in a situ into a situations where uh, we risk dealing with the end of the world and these monks goes on to a quest to save everything so yeah it it was quite quite interesting i'm a fan of older series and i want to have stuff like that in my collection and the art looks quite quite great and i'm happy that they decided to to give this series another shot and in a beautiful hardcover nevertheless so yeah i think that this was yeah the last uh, the last volume from uh, this haul i hope that you guys enjoyed it if you did uh, leave a like it helps a lot and if you want to see more uh, go check out the uh, the playlist that I have on the channel there are links to them in the video description and uh, if you want to get notified or see more video contents like this uh, related to manga anime and stuff like that consider subscribing to the channel I will highly appreciate that and yeah hopefully you liked it uh, hopefully you read some of this series if you did if you know them let me know in the comment sections i love to talk with you guys and yeah until next time go read your manga bye bye